Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Previously we talked about that there are four ways of solving a quadratic equation. So here's a generic quadratic equation and uh, we had outlined that there are four ways of doing this and of solving them. So the instructions were to solve a quadratic equation like this. So the first one was graphing which we haven't talked about yet and the second one was by factoring and the third way was by completing the square completing the square and the fourth way was the quadratic formula okay today shall we'll talk about this fourth way and then we'll only have the, that first uh, uh, way of solving to complete our understanding of how to solve quadratic equations like this. Now, <coughs> so <coughs> the quadratic formula, if you recall from algebra 1, is this. So this is the quadratic formula. So if if you don't recall this, then you must recall, you must memorize this and remember it really, really well. So do whatever it takes to memorize this. Now this formula, for you to apply this, you have to understand that the B here refers to B here and A here refers to A here, and C here refers to C. In other words, A, B, and C in the quadratic formula refer to the quadratic equation, the coefficients of the variable and the constant term. So this A and this B and this C is what you plug in into the quadratic formula, which again is x equals opposite of B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. Now, notice that there's a plus and minus here, which means, in essence, that there are, this is actually like two formulas in one. In other words, you could write this as x is equal to opposite of b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay. Or you could write this as x is equal to opposite of b minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So the quadratic formula is two answers in one, in a, so to speak, and that you must appreciate. So it can give you two answers. So let's just do an example with this. Um, and this is reasonably easy for most students, I think. Okay, let's do our famous example here. x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. We did the same problem before. <coughs> but here we're going to use the quadratic formula. If you were to use the quadratic formula, you would do this. x is going to be equal to opposite of b. Let me just re write this. It is a good habit, and I think good mathematical manners, to just write the formula before you start using it. So, um, in general, it's a very good thing to do. So, opposite of b. b here is 5, so it's going to be negative 5 plus or minus square root of b squared, which is 5 squared, minus 4 times a, in this case is 1, the invisible 1, okay, times c, which is 6, okay. Now, I like to put this like that, okay, there we go. And over 2 times a, which is 1. So basically, just put everything in, in the formula, and then you simplify so opposite of b plus or minus square root of b squared, that's 25 minus 4 times 8 times 6, 6 times 4 is 24, over 2. Okay? Now, uh, this becomes negative 5 plus or minus square root of 1. All right? 25 minus 4, that's square root of 1, which is just 1, over 2. Well, as I said, this is two 
answers is 1. Now you have to divide it into 2. Negative 5 plus 1 over 2 and negative 5 minus 1 over 2, right? So x is going to equal to this. Negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4 over 2 and that is negative 2. So that's one answer. And over here, negative 5 minus 1 is negative 6 over 2. This is equal to negative 3. That's their second answer. So x is going to equal to negative 2, or x is equal to negative 3. Those are the two potential answers for this question. So the quadratic formula, I think, is probably the easier ones uh, and sh surefire method, so to speak, of solving quadratic um, equations. Now, now, it's useful, for, for example, if you have something like this, 12.35x squared minus 0.758x minus, you know, 13.01. Now, you, I don't know about you, but I'm not going to factor that. I'm just going to plug that in in a quadratic equation and get the answer to this answer. Okay? So, um, as a review, ax squared plus bx plus c, that's a quadratic equation. Okay, there's a four ways of solving this. The first is graphing. Let me probably put that last since we're doing that last. But anyways, second is factoring. Okay, then doing one of these and then dividing that into two. And the third is completing the square. And this is important actually. And finally, the fourth way was the quadratic formula, which we just did. All right, now you got to memorize the quadratic formula. Never, ever forget it, inshallah. And we should continue from this, inshallah, next time. Until then, salatu wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.